three, two, one, and lift off the rise of Starliner in a new era. SpaceX's main competitor, Boeing, is planning for their second orbital flight test with its CSG-100 Starliner. Earlier, it was planned on 2nd April 2021, but it got delayed multiple times. And finally, NASA has announced that Boeing will be attempting their second OFT or the operational flight test on July 30th, 2021. Their first operational flight test didn't win as expected due to some software issues. In its first flight, an unmanned capsule was supposed to dock to International Space Station, but even though it was launched smoothly, Starliner went to different orbit due to miscalculations in the flight computer. As it was an unmanned flight, there was no harms associated with it. But if the second orbital flight test went successful, then astronauts Sunita Williams, Josh Casta, and Janet Epps are expected to fly in Boeing's first crew flight to the International Space Station. They lift off on United Launch Alliance's Atlas V rocket, with Starliner is targeted on Friday, July 30th from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The uncrewed mission will test end-to-end -end capabilities of the Starliner spacecraft and Atlas V rocket from launch to docking and to return to Earth in desert of the western United States. Following a successful completion of OFT2 mission, NASA and Boeing are targeting tw late 2021 for Boeing's crew flight test. NASA is now also allowing US media personnel for photo opportunities during the rollout of Starliner spacecraft from Boeing's commercial cargo and processing facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The operational activity is targeted for approximately 4 a.m. EDT on Saturday, July 17th. So hopefully, we will get further confirmation in mid-July. But if you want to get continuous updates regarding any scientific activities, do not forget to click on the subscribe button. We are trying to bring the latest scientific updates just for you. And hence, your support with likes, subscribes and comments will be highly appreciated for growing our little scientific community. With this, thanks for watching the video. See you again in the next one.